In my previous video, I demonstrated how to set up your family's mobile phones as virtual presence sensors in the new SmartThings app. In today's video, I'll show you how to effectively use those presence sensing devices in a SmartThings automation. Stay tuned. If you're new to smart home automation and you'd like to watch a good primer video, then tap on the link above. In that video, I provide three basic steps for creating an amazing smart home. You'll discover how easy it is to begin your smart home automation journey. Now let's get into today's content. Allow me one housekeeping item before we get into today's topic. I'll refer to my connected voice assistant, which in my case is so in order that I don't trigger your voice assistant, I'll refer to her as Miss A. If you missed my prior video in which I gave instructions for setting up your mobile devices as present sensors, then tap on the link above to review that setup video. You'll be provided with all you need to set up each family member's device as a virtual present sensor. You'll also gain the ability to use each member's device in SmartThings scenes and automations. This will greatly enhance your ability to automate your smart home. The automation that I created today is done in the new SmartThings app. It'll demonstrate how to use these virtual presence switches created in my former video. The automation will instruct the SmartThings app to monitor each mobile device for the arrival of each family member. The member's arrival or departure is determined when the member enters or exits the hub's geofence, which is the electronic fence that surrounds your home. When a member's presence is detected by the SmartThings app, the member's virtual presence switch is turned on. The status of that present switch can now be used in SmartThings automations to trigger certain actions. If you have a connected voice assistant, such as Miss A, the status of virtual switches can also be used to trigger announcements on your Google or your Echo voice assistant. Since I use Miss A as a connected voice assistant, I'll be demonstrating how to set up a family member arrival notification via my Echo device. Today I'll be using Brian Pieron's simulated switch to have SmartThings automations trigger announcements on my Echo device. I found this switch on the SmartThings community. If you'd like to have the ability to use your connected voice assistant to make verbal arrival announcements and you do not have Brian's device handler, tap on the link above and watch the video on how to get this set up. All right, in this automation that I'll show you how to set up, I'll be using my daughter's virtual present switch. I'll be manually changing that status of her switch to on, which will simulate her arrival at our home. As such, her arrival will result in the opening of our garage door. This is accomplished via simple SmartThings automation. The opening of the garage will be followed by an announcement on our Echo device confirming her arrival. Mandy has arrived home. This Echo announcement is triggered by the SmartThings automation. Once triggered, a routine will run in the Miss A app to announce my daughter's arrival. So as you can see, this is a simple automation utilizing only two smart devices. However, I'm sure that you can see with the newfound capability gained by installing these virtual present switches, you can now activate multiple smart devices in your home, either based on the arrival or the departure of each individual family member. All right, let me now show you how to set up the SmartThings automation and also the Miss A routine. All right, I wanted to begin by taking you to my channel and showing you that particular video that I referred to in the intro. It's titled Making Echo Announcements uh, Using SmartThings Automations. And in here, I show you how to set up a simulated Miss A switch and you're gonna use that switch again to trigger announcements. Also, I wanted to go into that video and show you that under that video are links to Brian Pieron's raw code for the virtual Miss A switch and also a link to the SmartThings ID, which you need to copy the code uh, from GitHub to the SmartThings IDE using this. So let me go now to the virtual Miss A switch and there's also a button here that you can install. So there's the button in the below and here is the switch up here. Uh, so this is the link to the raw code where you can go and get that. And again, I show you in detail how to install that device handler uh, so that you can set up these switches 
in the device list. Now let's go over and pop to the device list. So here we are under my devices and in here in this list you'll see that I have the simulated echo switch. I changed the name from Miss A to Echo and I have the simulated echo button. So the device handler uses this particular switch and what I'm doing is I'm using that same switch to set up what I label as echo presence sensing switches for each one of my iPhones. Now I already did the echo present switch for Bud's iPhone and also for my wife's iPhone. I'm going to add one for my daughter just to show you how to set up this switch. So again, we're, we're already we're using the uh, switch that was set up for through the device handler and we're just adding additional switches. So let's go in and add one. To, to add a switch, you hit new device. And I'm going to call this the same name as the previous two for some consistency. And I called those Echo Present Switch. The label that I'm going to put in here is EPS. And instead of using, I'm going to put in Mandy for my daughter. You do not require a Zigbee ID. For the network ID, I put in EPS1, EPS2. This is for myself for my wife we're gonna change this to EPS 3 now I had a subscriber write me and said he had was getting errors because he created multiple switches the problem was he used the same device network ID for each switch and if you do that you're gonna get an error so this can be anything you want but it has to be unique from the other device network IDs that you set up so again we're gonna use that device handler that's set up, which is the simulated Miss A switch. So I'm gonna select that. Location will be my home, and my hub is my hub, of course. And we'll go ahead and hit create at this point. So once you've done that, you go back to my devices, and we'll scroll down here, and you can see I have three echo present switches set up for each of our iPhones. This one that I just added will now show in the device list inside the new SmartThings app. So we can go on over to the SmartThings app and I'll show you how you can use these switches in order to trigger the notifications within the MSA app. So let's go on over to that. Okay, so now we're inside the new SmartThings app. And you can see that I have my Echo Present switch for my iPhone and also for my wife under simulated Echo switches. The one I just added for my daughter will be found all the way at the bottom. It has no room assigned. So you can simply go in there, hit the edit button and click on edit and change the room to my simulated Echo switches. Save that go back and now when we scroll back up to the, to the uh, group of simulated echo switches you can see that my daughter's echo switch is there we're gonna go ahead and turn that off now these switches you can manually turn them on and off but we want them turned on or off based on the arrival departure of the various phones so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back into those automations that I created in the last video and I'm simply going to add this switch to that automation and turn it on whenever the iPhone is detected and turn it off when the iPhone departs from the geofence. So let's go into automations here. I'm gonna scroll down and first I'm gonna show you, I've already set this up for the two automations that turn on the virtual presence for my smartphones. So if we go into the Bud Home automation, you can see that I set this up for when my iPhone is detected, that I turn the iPhone Bud present switch on, then I added the Echo present switch, and I turned that on also when my phone is detected. If we look at the other routine, Bud Away, 
whenever my iPhone departs from the geofence, I want to make sure that I turn my present switch, my virtual present switch off, and also turn the echo present switch off. Now the purpose of each of these switches is the iPhone Bud iPhone present switch. It shows on the panel so that I can tell whether my phone is registered as home or away. And the echo present switch, it allows me to add a routine within the Miss A app so that whenever my device departs, or more specifically when it returns home, then my presence could be announced verbally on the Echo device. So let's go ahead and do the same for my daughter's routine. So this is the way it was last week. You saw in the video I, I caused Mandy's iPhone present switch to trigger on or off based on her presence. So in this case, when Mandy's iPhone is away, I'm triggering the presence off and we want to edit this and we want to also add that echo present switch and make sure that we turn it off as well when her phone departs. So we're going to add an action at the bottom of the list and what we're going to do is we're going to control a device and the device we want to control is that echo present switch. So we're going to select that device echo present switch at the bottom of the list and I'll hit save and uh, what we want to happen with that device is we want it to be off so we're not going to change anything on there we're going to leave it as is and hit done all right and so if we go back in there with Mandy being away the iPhone present switch is going to be turned off and the echo present switch is going to be turned off let's go back and do the other routine so when she arrives um, we can also have that echo present switch turned on so we're gonna hit edit we're gonna add an action and the action that we're going to add is that we're gonna control a device the device we're gonna control is the echo present switch for Mandy's iPhone and we're gonna hit save it's added to the list and rather than off we want this to be on so let's go in there and we're going to turn it on and hit save so when Mandy's phone arrives her iPhone present switch is going to be turned on and the echo present switch is also going to be turned on all right hit done all right so that will make it possible for us to use that switch within the Miss A app to create a routine to announce Mandy's arrival. The other thing I want to do is show you a automation in here so that when her device arrives we can open the garage door. So to do that we're going to go to the top upper left hand side of the screen and click on that hamburger icon up there and then we're going to go to automations and if we scroll down, you're going to see that I also created automations already to open the garage door on iPhone Bud arrival and open garage door on iPhone Arena arrival. So we're going to add Mandy as well so that when her iPhone arrives, the garage door will open. So we'll hit plus, add a condition. Now I want to point something out here. You can use member location in this routine to find iPhone Mandy whenever she arrives and you can go through all this and set it up I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna use that device status and the device status I'm gonna use is the ones that we added last week I find it a lot easier to use this than go through all of the steps to set up presence through the other methods we're gonna select her iPhone switch we're gonna select present sensor and we're going to click on present and hit save we're going to hit save all right next we want to add another condition the condition we're going to add is a check to determine if the garage door is open the reason i'm doing that is the the action that i'm going to add is an action to open the garage door by pressing the momentary switch uh, we don't want that button pressed if the garage door is open otherwise when she arrives it'll close the garage door 
So we only want the button pressed if the garage door is closed. So I'm going to add a condition to check the status of the garage door. We're going to select device status. And to check the status of the garage door, I have a uh, garage door tilt sensor. You see it in the list here. I'm going to select that tilt sensor. And it's a contact sensor. And I want to make sure that sensor is closed in order to activate the garage door. So we'll hit save. So now you see if um, Mandy's iPhone present sensor shows that she's present and the garage tilt sensor shows that the garage door is closed, we want all those conditions to be met. And if they are met, then we're going to add a then condition. Then add action, control a device. The device we're going to control is the garage opener you see there. So that basically presses the momentary switch. We'll hit save. And we're going to change that from off. And what we actually want to do is press a momentary switch. Select that. So if her presence is detected and the garage door is closed, then we're going to press this momentary switch. We'll hit save. And uh, that way the garage door will open on her arrival. We'll hit done. We're going to name this similar to the other apps as well. Open garage door on Mandy's arrival. Okay, now we've got those automations set up. And all we have to do at this point is add an Alexa routine so that we can announce Mandy's arrival. So let's go ahead and go into Alexa. Okay, now we're in the Alexa app. We're going to go into devices. And the first thing I want to show you, if we go to all devices, you're going to see here that a new device is found, which is that EPS iPhone Mandy switch. Now, I want to point out in here, because you may be thinking, well, you added those virtual switches for the iPhone, and they're in here somewhere. Okay, there they are. So you see iPhone Bud, iPhone Arena. So those virtual switches are in here, but you cannot use these in routines to trigger the announcement. That's why I created the Echo Present switches that you see here in the list. Uh, so what we're gonna do is use that uh, switch in a routine that we just added for Mandy. Oh, there it is. So we're gonna go in there. You see that it's powered off, and that would signify that her device is not present. So we're going to create a routine using that switch. And you'll see in here I have two routines already created. Arrival Arena, Arrival Bud. I'm going to add a Arrival Mandy routine right now. So we're going to add in a routine name, Arrival Mandy. Okay, hit done and next. When this happens, we're going to go into Smart Home here. And we're going to look for that uh, EPS switch iPhone Mandy and select that. OK, so when that is open or on, in this case, whenever her presence is detected, we hit Next. Uh, we want to add an action then. And we want to select Alexa Says. And we're going to use a customized phrase. Mandy has arrived home. OK, it confirms that Alexa will say Mandy has arrived home. Next. And now we have to choose the device. For testing purposes, I'm just going to select the Echo device that's in the family room. That's where I am currently. So we use the family room Echo Dot. Hit Save. Okay, and that's all there is to setting up those devices. That's the same way I set up Arrival Arena and Arrival Bud. All right, with that, everything's set up. Now we can check it out and see what it does here. All right, there you see the switches. Now, mind you that these actions will not physically trigger unless our devices actually leave the premise 
and then return. So I can try to simulate the garage door opener, but the announcement is not going to be made because it's triggered based on the location of our iPhones. But I can trigger it here, each of these switches. Let's say, for instance, I trigger the arrival of Mandy by pressing the button here. Okay, and that will cause the garage door to open up. And I just heard the announcement upstairs indicating that the garage door is now open. The announcement on Miss A device will not occur unless it's an actual event, but I can simulate that by tapping on the EPS switch for iPhone Mandy, and you can listen. Mandy has arrived home. So that's all there is to this automation. I trust that you found today's topic is helpful. Take a moment and let me know in the comments below. If there are other smart things automations that you'd be interested in seeing, leave a comment about those as well. If you're still watching at this point, I must assume that you are a home automation enthusiast. That being true, then be sure that you like, subscribe, and be sure to tap on that notification bell icon to be notified anytime I release a new video. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, keep automating and God bless.